Hi everybody, Pat McMahon, and I, like probably most of you, have occasionally said, honey, I, I can't find my keys. I don't remember where I left them. And there's always that fear, that fear of the condition, some form of dementia. We all are concerned about that. But you can be less concerned in the Valley of the Sun because let me introduce you to a brand new facility, but allow that introduction to come from the program director, Dr. Mary Beth Gallagher. Thank you. It's so nice to be with you. Well, and it's good to see you again, but please introduce our audience right now by telling them about the new facility that I call the Miracle on 44th Street. <laughs> Great title. So Hospice of the Valley has created the Dementia Care and Education Campus in order to serve the growing needs of people living with dementia and those who love them and care for them and also for healthcare professionals. This is a place that's going to be supporting all types of dementia at all stages of dementia as well. And don't we have a large uh, a number of people uh, who are living with dementia here in Arizona? Indeed we do. Arizona has the highest growth rate of oh. people with dementia in the whole United States, which is more compelling reason why every one of us in the community, we're going to be touched by this, and we want to offer skillful and compassionate care. So. Here's a place that I expected would look more like a, a clinic or maybe an expansion of the home-like atmosphere of Hospice of the Valley. And it's a campus. It looks like a, a, it looks like a community college. Yes, it's really beautifully designed. Uh, we went and met with the international experts in dementia design in Scotland in order to try to set this up so that it would really empower people living with dementia, focus on their abilities versus their disabilities. And nature is the best medicine of all, isn't it? And so it has beautiful surroundings to feed the heart and the soul. Uh, with the park-like area in the middle for strolling, and let's talk about some of the services that are available. All right, so let's start with the fact that we have an adult day club. People with dementia oftentimes feel very isolated and this is a place where they can go, where all are welcome, where they can have stimulating and enjoyable engagement with other folks. Right next door, there's a child care center because research has told us that intergenerational relationships can be so therapeutic for all involved. Next, there's a beautifully designed inpatient hospice unit for those who are receiving hospice services. There's a small assisted living, very home-like and gorgeous for people with dementia. And most importantly to me is an education center. Dr. Mm. Maya Angelou has that statement, when we know better, we do better. And so this is an opportunity for us all to learn. I did have the privilege of having a tour uh, on the grand opening day. Uh, and it is officially open now, providing those services. But I, as I walked around, and as fond as I've been of the services of Hospice of the Valley across the valley, I, I, I was thinking, this is so opulent. This is so upscale. Uh, I have to say, on behalf of our audience, it looks like it's expensive. Yeah, well, great question. You know, there are some services that will require payment, but others will are absolutely at no cost. Really? Yeah. So we have Monday morning memory cafes for people living with dementia and their care partners to come to socialize, to learn, to enjoy arts at no cost. On Thursday mornings, we have education open to all people um, on all the different dimensions of how to make meaningful connection, optimize quality of life, maximize comfort in dementia. We have so many different programs that are at no cost. For those folks who, like me, occasionally look around for their keys, mm -hmm. um, and we all have thought about it. Absolutely. How do they get in touch, though, if they are diagnosed? How do they get in touch with someone who might we want a tour like I had. Yeah, so our general Hospice of the Valley number is 602-530-6900 or hov.org to learn more. Okay, so getting in touch with Hospice of the Valley will do it, but only if we know what to ask for. 
Right. So, you know, a lot of people who have dementia or suspect that they have dementia won't receive a formal diagnosis, but they can simply call because we have a special program, again, at no cost, called Supportive Care for Dementia Program in order to help them live well and stay in their homes for as long as possible and to help their families do. And from what I'm told, the kids that are already there yeah. looked around and said, one of the grandparents coming. Yes, one of the grandmas <laughs> and grandpas coming. Well, so you know now about it. The official name, Mary Beth, of the organization? Well, Hospice of the Valley's Dementia Care and Education Campus. And the official address? Blah, 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 44th Street, south of Indian School. Right, so if you get into the vicinity of 44th Indian School, you can't miss it. Or just roll the window down and ask about, where do I find the miracle on 44th Street? This is Pat McMahon, and aren't you glad that you just stopped by for an introduction?